This tutorial is brought to you by Envado Elements. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyshim. Sometimes split screens can add something extra to your video and it can even help you to tell a story. There are multiple methods or techniques you can use to create them in Premiere and in this video I'll show you 4 of them. Do you know them all? Let's jump right into Premiere and find out. The first, more basic method is based on scaling and I'm going to use these 4 clips on a timeline to show you how this works. These 4 clips all have the same resolution, 3840 by 2160 and the sequence that I'm working in also has that exact resolution. Having all your clips on the same resolution will make the next steps a lot easier. If one of your clips has a different resolution, then right click on that clip and then select scale to frame size. This will change the clip's resolution to the resolution of the sequence and set it to 100% scaling. Ok, assuming that all your clips now have the same resolution, we can now proceed to the next part and that is scaling. Make sure the clip on top is selected and then go over to the effect controls panel. In the motion section, scale the video down to 50%. And as you can see, the clip is now a quarter of the frame, exactly what we need. We can now select the motion properties and then copy them with Ctrl or Command C. Then select the other three clips on the timeline and then paste the properties with Ctrl or Command V. And this also scaled the other clips down to a quarter of the frame. Now all we've got left is repositioning the clips. This repositioning is based on the anchor point of the clip, so in a 16x9 1080p sequence you need the following positions. And in a 4K 16x9 sequence you want the following position values. I've got a 4K sequence here, so I will change the 4 clips to these values. It's all a matter of selecting the clips one by one on the timeline and then change the position values. And then select the second clip and change the position values to move this one to the top right. Anyway, I think you get the point, so I'm going to fast forward this one so you don't have to wait. And with these four clips scaled down and set to the new position, we've now created this. And by the way, if you want to know how I got to these anchor point values or how to do this with 9 clips, then check out my other video based on the same principle. You can also add some white bars to your video like this. Let me show you how to do this. You can do this by simply using the rectangle tool, which you can find here in the tools menu. I would recommend to zoom out slightly and then draw a bar on top of your video. And if needed, you can also add a second one, like a horizontal bar for example. After that you can switch back to the regular view and then inside the essential graphics panel you can adjust settings like position. And after switching back to the selection tool you can also use this to change the shape if you want to. And by the way you can also change the colors inside the essential graphics panel. Just select the shape and then change the color into anything that you like. And you need to change the color for every shape individually. Now it's time to show you the next method, which is based on cropping, right after the message of our sponsor Envado Elements. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envado Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. And this includes stock video, music and sound effects, fonts, video animation templates and much more. I've got my own paid subscription for a couple of years now and I still visit the website multiple times a week for many of my projects. So I can highly recommend you to give it a try. Please use the link in the description to check them out and also support my channel. Ok, time to move on to the next one. For the second method I've already got these three clips ready on the timeline. I'm going to start here by selecting all the clips and then move over to the effects panel and in there I'm going to search for the crop effect. You'll find this one under video effects transform. I'll apply this effect to the three clips then select the top one and move over to the effect controls panel. And for this first clip I'm going to start by cropping all the sides with 25%. And after that I'll reposition the clip to the left top corner. And I'll move this a couple of pixels out of the frame. This will give a bit of space between the clips as you'll see later on. Let's now select the clip on the second track and we're going to crop this one as well and move this to the left bottom corner. But here the subject isn't in the center of the frame so I'll have to play around with the values but keep the totals at 50% crop to remain the same size as the first clip. What I mean is that the total amount of cropping on the left and right is 50% and the top and the bottom is 50% together. I also cropped the first clip at 50% so now they are the same size. 
Ok, time to reposition the clip and then move this to the left bottom corner. And also here I'll move it slightly off screen to create some space between the clips. Next I want to fill up the space with clip number 3. This means that we don't need to crop the top and the bottom, but we only need to crop the left and right side. So I'll set these both to 25% and then move the clip to the right. And again I'll move it slightly off screen to give it some space between the clips. And that's it for this method, let's give it a playback to see the results. If you want to change the color of the space or bars between the clips, then you can do the following. In the project panel, click on the new items icon and then select color mat. Then accept the sequence default settings and click OK. Next you can select a color, in this case we'll start with white. Now you can select all the clips and then move them one track up. Then select the color mat and place this underneath the clips. And as you can see, this filled up the space between the clips with the white color mat. If you want to change the color of the color mat, simply double click on it and then change this into anything you like. The third method is especially useful if you want to create diagonal lines or a more complex split screen. And to show you how this one works, I've got the following two clips ready on the timeline. We're going to start here by searching for an effect called Radial Wipe. You'll probably find two versions of this effect, but you need the one under Video Effects. In all the versions of Premiere, you will find this one in a subfolder called Transition. And in CC 2021 and hopefully newer, you will find this one in the Obsolete folder. Let's add this effect to the clip on top and then select the clip and move over to the Effect Controls panel. And if I now play around with Transition Completion, you can see what this effect can do. But in this case, I'm going to set it to 50% to create a straight line. Then change the angle to 35 degrees to make this a diagonal line. And as you can see, we now need to reposition this clip and also play around with the center point in the radial wipe effect. Something like this will do. And as a final step, I will also select the bottom clip and reposition it so it will match better with the other one. That's it for this one, let's have a look at the result. And also here I've added a border between the clips, let me show you how to do this. For this one I've used the pen tool, which you can find here in the tools menu as well. With the tool enabled I'm going to zoom out again and then draw a line over the border. And then inside the essential graphics panel I can change the size of the stroke and also change the colors. You can also use this same technique to add more clips. If you want to see how I did this one, then check out my other video about split screens. To show you method number 4, I'm going to use these two clips. And this one is based on masking. Masking can be used to show or hide specific parts of your video. Let me show you what I mean. So here I've got the top clip selected and now I can move over to the effect controls panel. And in here I'm going to click on this pen tool icon, also known as the free drawing bezier tool. If I enable this, I can draw any shape that I want and create a mask. And as you can see, now only the mask is visible and the rest is hidden. And we can use this same technique to create a split screen. In this example, I'm going to add an ellipse shaped mask. So first I'll remove the mask that we just created and then click on this ellipse mask icon. Now we can left click and drag in the program monitor and then create an ellipse shaped mask like this. And after that we can reposition the clip and then move this to the right of the frame. And I will also increase the scale of the clip. By default 10 pixels of feathering is added to the mask and that is not what we want here so I'm going to lower this to 0. And in this example I think that we need to reposition the bottom clip as well. Something like this will do. And as a final step let's also add a border between the two clips. In this case we're going to use the ellipse tool which you can find here underneath the pen tool. We can now left click in the program monitor and then draw a shape on top of the two clips. After that I will also zoom out and go back to the selection tool and use this to reshape the ellipse. This might take some time because you need to make this equal in size based on the shape of the mask. Once it looks good enough you can switch back to the regular view and then make some minor adjustments. By the way, as you can see here in the essential graphics panel I've only got the stroke enabled and if you want you can also change the colors here of course. And that's it for this tutorial. Did you know all the four methods? Let me know in the comments. Also, did you enjoy this video? Then please give it a like, that really helps a lot. 
And finally, as always, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.